So that's the best picture switch of the world you completely see. How many how many participants do we have? Do we know? Yes. Okay. A beautiful morning to everyone present. I, Rashika Multani, be glad to welcome you all here in the session of Did second of the Liberation. Second Orange Day Literature Fest by SGR Knowledge Foundation. The session will be of 40 minutes from 11 to 11.40 a.m. I'll be playing a buzzer sound before 10 minutes of the concluding time. Our topic for this session is A Quiet Girl and a Noisy Story by our guest speaker, Paru Anand Ma'am. Ma'am writes for children, young adults, and adults. But I can't hear she you won the Sahitya Academy Bal Sahitya Puraskar in 2017 for her anthology Wild Child. She has spoken about and written extensively on children's literature in India. She headed the National Center for Children's Literature, the National Book Trust, India, the apex body for children's literature in India. She also runs a podcast on Hub Hopper called Literature in Action and was an invitee to the India Conference at Harvard Business School in 2018. She was awarded the Kalinga Karubaki Award for Fearless Writing in 2019. She is well known for her work with children in difficult circumstances, including those impacted by violence in Kashmir, and has written extensively on the subject. Handing over the session to you, ma'am. Shoot her voice is gone. Text voice is gone.
ya. Yeah, yeah, we will, we will as much as we can, yeah. Can you hear me now? You can hear me? You can see me? So let's just start. Can we start? Okay. Sorry guys, we've really lost so much time, uh, but I'm not going to um, spend too much time doing anything else except just telling you a story about a very quiet girl and a very noisy story. So, a quiet girl. When, when Pooja was born, her papa and mama were very happy. Pooja was a very peaceful baby. She never cried, she never fussed. She only smiled and smiled and smiled and smiled. She smiled at her family, she smiled at her friends, she smiled at their friends, she smiled at feathers floating by, and she smiled at leaves falling from trees. And most of all, she smiled at animals. Aren't these lovely? Can you see? Beautiful uh, illustrations from uh, the, a wonderful illustrator called Takushi. Now, when somebody is very quiet, then what happens? She smiled though, and that was good. And she loved animals a lot, and that was really very good. Why? Because there was Pooja's papa and mama, and they worked with Bulbul, a beautiful horse. A beautiful horse. She was a white mare, and a mare is, of course, a girl dog. And she was very beautiful, and she was, um, uh, she used to go in wedding processions. When the bridegroom would sit on top of her, the white ghori, and the band wallas would be in front and and that's how uh, Gulbul the Ghori, the horse, would be at every procession. And Pooja, little baby Pooja, seemed to love Bulbul a lot. But she didn't talk. When other children started to say, Pooja just smiled and smiled and smiled. And when, 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 when other children started to say, I want, I want, I want, I want, Pooja would just smile and smile and smile and smile. When other children began to learn their A, B, C, and one, two, three, and started to go to school, Pooja just smiled and smiled and smiled. Now, it was very nice to have a very happy baby. But what do you do when a baby doesn't talk at all? Well, Pooja, what did she do? When all the other children started to go to school, Pooja just sat with the horse. And then Bulbul had a little baby. And Pooja's papa and mama were very happy because they thought Bulbul's getting a little old. And now then a new baby foal will be born. And she will also be pure white. And she will lead she will go in wedding processions taking the groom. But when the foal was born, he was not.
20 years of existence. Two universities, 23 educational institutes, offering 137 courses. Rysoni Group of Institutions, a vision beyond.